passion and obviously broke two big school records. What are you looking to get better at Super Bowl? Uh, I could be more versatile um, and play different positions, and I can um, definitely be a better blocker on the field. Um, and then just understanding the scheme more uh, each and every year. That's, that's just growing as a player um, here and understand Coach Longo's offense more. That will help the group and all. And then uh, just teaching the young kids and helping them develop too. So that will help the offense as a whole. Well, what different positions are you playing? Um, I'm going to play some more wide out this year. And then I'm going to line up in uh, the backfield again some and in the slot. So just being more versatile on offense and uh, being able to play everywhere. Uh, not just physically, but also verbally, sort of taking on that role, maybe the, the voice of the, the quarterback. Yeah, both of them do. I mean, um, they're both natural leaders, and they both know how to uh, talk and get a group to pay attention. So um, I've definitely seen a lot of growth from them over the past few years, from when I first came in with Jacoby, and then when Drake first came in. I definitely see them developing and um, becoming leaders and uh, being able to lead this team and take after Sam. So I'm excited to see their development and how they um, – how they play in fall camp. What do you like about this team in general? Heading into the summer, what you guys have been playing in fall? Last year we had, we, we had a lot of hype on our name last year, so this year we're not as, uh, we're kind of under the radar right now. People are kind of just like counting us out. So I feel like we got a chip on our shoulder and uh, we got a new DC came in and a few transfers. So I feel like uh, we're a group that's pretty slept on and everybody's, everybody's thinking it's Sam left. So, I mean, they obviously don't have nothing else. So we're going to shock the nation. Uh, I love it because, I mean, uh, being an underdog is great because it gets, that's a, just an extra motivation right there. So, And I feel like the whole group feels the same. I mean, all of us think we, we, we're, be, we're the best team in the ACC when we play our best. So um, to be slept on, we just we take that as another motivation. We're going to come out there and show them. Josh, with Sam leaving, you've kind of come to the base of the team when you're in the cover of the magazine. You know, what, what's kind of that whole thing been like for you? Uh, just um, not really looking at it too much, just – uh, working, just keeping going. I mean, I still got a lot more to do. Uh, this isn't my ultimate goal, just to be the face of Carolina. So I just got a lot more work to do um, each and every day with my teammates and uh, just worry about this season. I mean, Noah, I mean, you were the first guy you mentioned as like, someone that's helped out as being a leader. Does that kind of speak to that? Like, what are you taking on being the face also known to all that responsibility? Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm like older now on the team than I was. I'm not a freshman anymore, so I'm, I'm a junior. Uh, the young cats, the dudes that just came in, they look up to me for a lot of things. So, I mean, I got to be that guy that just comes out here every day and works and shows them what to do. And if they got any questions, I mean, I'm there for them to help them. We heard a lot from Phil, Coach Longo, and Coach Gallery about how much more confident Antoine is right now. How does that potentially open up things for you and the rest of the offense, just knowing that the guy with that capability is playing as confident as Oh, I mean, yeah, Antoine, he's a great player, so. He's going to come on strong this year, be even better than last year. That's going to open up a lot of things. I mean, he's going to take um, take the top off. He can play underneath. He's a great route runner. So I definitely believe Tuan being um, fully developed this year. I mean, he was fully developed last year, but he's getting a better chance to show it this year. He's going to uh, turn some heads and, I mean, be one of the best in America. A little bit of everything. I mean, definitely look at guys in the NFL, Cooper Cup, uh, Tyreek Hill. Um, I, I look at Debo Samuel sometimes, myself. And, I mean, just different other cats in the league that have been there, done that, and uh, balling out. But also looking at my tape, what I can improve on, uh, what I was doing good last year, and what I can get better at. And then well, throwing in wrinkles, different plays, different formations, just to mix it up, get different guys in, get the ball to different people. You obviously had a lot of success last year. But when you think about last season, are there any – Uh, yeah, sometimes I try, I would get out to play in certain scenarios. Like, get, people couldn't tell, but, like, in, in, as an offense, we knew. And then um, I had dropped a pass last year against Duke and Notre Dame that I remember in my head. So I shouldn't. I'm, I'm going to bounce back and not let those concentration drops come this year. Josh, when you talk about maybe lining up more out wide, lining up more in the backfield, it's difficult and stuff. Is that something you have been lobbying coaches for, or did you? Phil approach you? Did someone approach you? You know, coach staff said, look, this is what we're thinking more for you this year. Mm -hmm. Like, how has that sort of come about in the, in the planning aspect? Mm -hmm. 
little bit of everything. I mean, Coach Mack, Coach Long. Long Coach Long was always told me I was versatile. And then Coach Mack uh, told me he was telling the co office coaches I got to play outside this year. But also me, I feel like as for my development and uh, for the next level, I need to show I can play everywhere and not just in the slot. And I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm just a pure slot. I mean, I played outside my whole high school career. And I mean, I played a lot throughout my whole life. And I played running back all the way up to high school. So I feel like I can do a little bit of everything. And um, just showing that I'm not just a one-way player, I can do a lot of things. Oh yeah, every time they give me a different play where I'm lined up somewhere else, I'm like, for sure, it's never a question. How, how do you improve in terms of being able to read defenses and how is that just enhancing their play? Uh, just watching tape, um, learning from my coaches, and just growing and developing uh, being a college athlete. Because when I first got here, I, it was different. I didn't really understand it. I understand it, but I didn't really like get it completely. But now I'm seeing, uh, seeing different angles, watching different receivers, watching different DBs, seeing uh, how they play. And I'm definitely understanding the game more. So, I mean, just years under my belt of being here, and uh, that has definitely helped me. Oh, it's incredible because, I mean, um, I look up to Ryan. I mean, he's he's been in the league a few years, and so whatever he says, I know that it's coming with knowledge and that he's been there and done that and that it's coming with love. He's like a big brother to me. So I know that um, if he's telling me I need to fix something, I know I probably need to fix it. And if he's telling me I should put something in my arsenal, I know I should probably put it in my arsenal. So, I mean, seeing a guy like that that's been here at Carolina and he's a legend, I mean, it means a lot. I mean, he has a lot of knowledge in his head and he definitely wants to help coach us and teach us each and every day. So um, I, he always checks up on me. I check up on him. And whenever I feel like I have a question about something, he's always there, he's always there to answer it. Josh, what's your level of concern or level of confidence for like that you're saying? Like, you know, it seems to be, mm -hmm. from an outside perspective looking in, you know, people seem to be concerned about that. Like, yeah. Is it a level of concern, level of confidence? What's your vote? What would you say? Uh, I don't have a concern. I'm, I don't really think of it at all. I think of it at all. I think Jacoby and Jake are great, so I'm not really worried about that.